Hi y'all, welcome to my channel, welcome to a new video, Pony by Rex Orange County, album review, let's talk about it. This, Pony, is the third album from alternative R&B singer, songwriter, Rex Orange County, aka Alex O'Connor, who has been making waves after making a big splash by being a two-time guest featured artist on Tyler the Creator's changing of style, in my opinion, with his album Flower Boy. He was on Forward and Boredom, the latter being one of my favorite songs I've ever listened to. And while his album Apricot Princess didn't gain so much attention, I knew a couple people in high school that listened to him and adored him. And when I first heard about him, I wasn't really interested all that much. Nothing really appealed to me that I kind of grabbed on, that I latched on. Nothing about him was interesting to me. And a lot of his fans want to say that this isn't one of his best albums, that Apricot Princess is a lot better. You know, I, I just like this album for what it is. As I wasn't invested in Rex's earlier material, I certainly thought he had a knack for songwriting. The production was there and the singing was there as well, but with this album I feel like it kind of comes together very beautifully. As you have him fuse genres of indie with R&B. You got a soul edge to it. Mainly, I get whiffs of almost Baroque pop as there are very luscious strings on this album. On this album, you have Rex showing his vulnerable side. And in music, for me, I like when an artist shows their vulnerable side, as I don't really care for listening to boring, bland pop tunes about this person's love interest, or how someone went to a place and uh, had fun, or that one person has beef with another person, or that I can take your man any day. Maybe it's because I like the drama of a person's life, the nitty gritty details of a breakup, or of uh, loss. I like that edge because it's emotive and it's evocative. And what Rex does on this album is very evocative. He shows a side that not a lot of artists, at least in the more pop-oriented side, as he is a little more mainstream than some of the other artists I review on my channel, but he shows a vulnerable side that a lot of people can cling on to, a depressive side, or a side where he can just kind of vent to you guys. I definitely think he is comfortable with his audience. I think he doesn't really hold a lot of things back. Definitely the more important stuff he kind of keeps inside of him. But on this album, you have a lot of introspection. You have a lot of talks about him being a vulnerable person, a vulnerable man, while being in a relationship. And he always worries about this relationship. Is this person, does, does she love me? Does she really like me? Love is also a very important topic on this album. Not only love from another person, but self-love, as he has a lot of worries about not loving himself enough. There is also an edge, like a bitter sweetness to this album, where the optimism of the production juxtaposes the somewhat darker lyrics. They're longing, they're a little sad sometimes, a little sappy. Really the most important thing about this album is that it all comes together very nicely. Most of the sound palettes on this album can range from being uplifting, upbeat, jubilant at points, to being a little more down-tempo, being a little more melodic, more mellow and more soothing at times. But for the most part, the warm aesthetic this album gives off it's very comforting. And while I find that a couple times on this album, the songwriting can fall apart just a little bit, I still find a lot of what he does in terms of lyricism to be very well done, as he definitely sounds like an artist growing into his shell. I just wish the writing on this album was worked on a little bit more. Uh, like I said, he sounds like an artist growing into his shell, so I don't expect him to create some lyrical opus on this album. The first track off of this album starts it off pretty easy. It starts off pretty nice. The song 10 out of 10, as he is referring to how people rate each other on terms of looks, on personality, on outer appearance. He also talks about self-improvement as being, uh, I want to look like a 10 out of 10, and right now I look like a 5. In context with the rest of this album, 
This song for me kind of stands out, and luckily it's at the beginning of the album, so it doesn't really sound like a thumb. <laughs> so it really doesn't sound like a sore thumb in the track listing. I definitely wish this was similar to a lot of the songs on here in the terms of production, as the production of this track in particular is slightly different than the rest of the songs. The highlight of this album, for me, is the song Face to Face. I love the chorus on this song. While it isn't the most catchy song, it's definitely one of the songs that just kind of sticks with me, as the lyrics are very cathartic, and they talk about, what does it say? The song is about being away from home, feeling trapped in an undesirable situation, and finding it difficult to trust people, as what he posted on Instagram, explaining what this song in particular is about, this being the third single from this album. As sometimes we've experienced phases of maybe homesickness or longing to be with a person. One thing that stands out on this track, but not only this track in particular, but the entire album, are the vocals. As Rex sounds very playful, almost childish, but what he's saying is actually meaningful. So yeah, while he has this high-pitched voice, you know, a little higher than the average male, uh, that's not necessarily meaning that he's saying the nicest or the prettiest things. I think this juxtaposition from the vocals to the songwriting are very nice. You have to think about what he's saying because it's not all butterflies and rainbows. It's actually meaningful, deep, thought-provoking. The second single to this album, Pluto Projector, to me is more of a slow burner track as it takes a little more time to build up to the chorus and when it does, it's not as loud or as lush as the other choruses on this album. Speaking of choruses, a lot of the choruses on this album, excluding Pluto Projector and the 10 out of 10 song, they are very lush. They are very orchestral size. Cathedral-like, really. They are ornately arranged, and the strings, everything, come together very beautifully. This album sounds pretty expensive, and looking at the uh, credits for a lot of the engineering behind the strings and the people behind those strings in general, there's a lot of work that went into this album. But yeah, even with the lush courses, even with the songwriting and the singing, I think Rex did a good job at making a really good album. With a couple ups and a couple downs, a little, uh, definitely more ups than downs in my opinion. He came through with a very good indie pop album with a soul and alternative R&B edge to it. The vocals are nice and the instrumentation is lush, magnificent, beautiful, with introspective lyrics and a lot of heartwarming and bittersweet mantras. There is something to adore about this album in the terms of songwriting and in the terms of production, as everything sounds very nice. My concern with Rex moving forward is that I feel that he is painting himself in a corner artistically, as I kind of don't know what he's going to do next. Kind of lost. Is he going to move away from this lush sound? Is he going to stick with this sound? As a lot of artists that tend to stick with the sound that resonates with their fans stagnate, the albums get repetitive, the songwriting gets boring, the production gets very lazy, as all they're doing is trying to recreate the masterpiece that they did with their first album. There are a lot of artists that try to recreate their debut or their sophomore album, or just an album that made them popular over and over and over again, and they just kind of fade into the musical oblivion that exists. And while I don't want Rex to go away anytime soon, I kind of worry what he's gonna do with his next album. Musically, good album, I recommend it. Rex Orange County fans, I see a couple of them don't like this album as much as Apricot Princess, but I like it. I think you'll like it. If you like the soothing, passionate, and melodic singing with these introspective and thought-provoking lyrics with lush instrumentation, I really think you will dig this album. Pony is a great album, and Pony by Rex Orange County is getting a B+. I did enjoy it. I dug it. I really liked it. I recommend it to you. Outro. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this album down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. And remember, this is only my opinion, because music is subjective.